Next week is National Catholic Schools Week. The tradition began in 1974 and is an annual celebration of Catholic education in the United States. This year's theme is Faith Excellence Service. Schools observe the week with masses, open houses, and family activities that highlight the contributions Catholic schools bring to their communities. And join me now is Patrick Riley, president of the Cardinal Newman Society. Patrick, welcome. So great to see you. Um, talk to us more about Catholic Schools Week and why it's so important to highlight. Well, Catholic education is the church's primary means of evangelization. It's the most important thing that, uh, that we do in terms of bringing the faith to young people and forming them uh, in the faith and in, in an understanding of, of the world from a Catholic point of view. And so it's extremely important. And the parochial schools uh, historically have been such a huge part of the church in the United States. And so it's a great opportunity to celebrate that impact that our schools have had in the church. Yeah, and as I mentioned, uh, the theme this year is faith, excellence, and service. Um, how have you seen that exemplified in our Catholic schools? Well, it's exemplified uh, in a sort of an uneven way, I would say. I mean, some of our schools just do an outstanding job of bringing a, a good, strong Catholic formation to young people. And those schools, uh, thanks be to God, have just been thriving. Uh, and so we're seeing some great uh, successes and a real renewal of Catholic identity in many of our schools around the country. Um, and uh, on the other hand, you know, we have uh, over the last 50 years, I think we've uh, lost some of that Catholic identity in many of our Catholic schools. We've had a larger percentage of non-Catholic students or families who really aren't there for the strong, uh, faithful formation. And so this is a challenge that's continually facing our schools. We've lost two-thirds of the enrollment in Catholic schools in the last 50 years. Um, but then you see all these great signs of hope with the burgeoning homeschooling movement, uh, these independent Catholic schools, lay-run institutions that are starting up, hybrid programs, and of course, then the, the renewal of many of these parochial schools. So there's a there's a very good story right now in Catholic education, uh, but it is coming out of a 50-year malaise, I would say. Yeah, and as you mentioned, there's some of those challenges. Uh, what do you think can be done to address those challenges? Um, the... The schools need to look at doing absolutely everything that, that they do, whether it's athletics, admissions, academics, uh, using clear Catholic standards uh, top to bottom. And unfortunately, we've slipped away from some of that. There's been a little bit of hypocrisy where, you know, we allow one thing but don't allow another thing. And that uh, lately has been getting schools in trouble in the courts. And so uh, what we're seeing now is this great resurgence of attention to Catholic identity and ensuring that it's strong top to bottom, that we have a curriculum that strongly forms the young person in virtue and in reason. Um, and, and, and that has been very exciting to see. Yeah, indeed. You know, one thing I want to talk about is cost, because that can really uh, be a barrier for many, many families, especially in this current economic environment. Um, what is being done to make a Catholic education more attainable? Um, again, I think it's mixed. In some cases, we're making it less attainable. You know, I see some of these new schools that are built with all of this computer technology and, and high-tech systems and everything, and the the perfect football fields and everything, and that they're very expensive and they, they're pricing out a lot of students. And then you see other institutions, especially some of these independent lay-run schools that really cut every corner possible in terms of costs and try to make it affordable to families, understanding that the key to Catholic education is the student and the teacher. And, and ultimately, that's what you need for a good Catholic education. And then, of course, you have uh, families uh, homeschooling and finding ways of being able to afford that. Um, but we have to really be looking at all of these options. And so, you know, really celebrating not just Catholic schools, but Catholic education in all of its forms. Yeah. And Patrick, not a lot, whole lot of time left, maybe 20 seconds or so. But what would be your message to families that are considering a Catholic education for their children? Consider what's most important for your child. Consider what type of person you want your daughter or son to be uh, when they graduate from school. And unfortunately, most secular institutions just 
are leading young people astray. And so we desperately need this renewal of faithful Catholic education and, and look at it very seriously as an option. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Patrick, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you so much.